Hello everybody, this is Johnny Onos playing Project Zomboid version 34.28. In our last episode we encountered all the noises we could possibly find within the game. We had uh, some house alarms, we had uh, what sounded like uh, three passes of a helicopter, which means that uh, we are at the point where there'll be no more helicopters, which is uh, super cool. Uh, we've killed 544 zombies and we've survived for 15 days, so yeah, that's... Like, right at the end of two weeks is when uh, you won't encounter any more helis. So, uh, we successfully got the heli to kind of uh, follow us into the little little bit east into the forest. So, we might have shifted all the zombies a little bit east, away from most of the houses and into the forest. So, um, we may have a clear path, but um, as you can see right here, not so clear. Not that clear. So we had to stop in the middle of the night, and uh, we're going to try to get to the doctor's office and sleep. Here we go. Stealthing along the freeway. Yeah, um, when I first started, uh, when I revisited uh, Project Zomboid again, I think it was about five months ago, um, every time... <laughs> I keep thinking I hear the helicopter again. Sorry, um, every time the helicopter came by, it completely made it impossible for me to loot in this first area. Look how bunched up those guys are. They didn't go very far east at all. Alright, I think this is the church, so we can cut east. Oh, look at all of them. I don't know. It might be worthwhile for us just to keep going north and avoid the um, doctor's office for now. Ugh. Our stealth is really paying off for us now. Two points is already pretty strong. I think our central um, outpost is just past these trees and past some houses over here. There's like one set of houses against the road, and then our outpost is right across from it. Yeah, I think this is that set. I wonder if those guys see me. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they're still just kind of rallying. Yeah, this is the set of houses just to the south of our uh, our outpost. But with all the uh, house alarms that occurred yesterday, I'm a little bit scared of what we're going to see when we get to the uh, to the outpost. Or I'm just uh, hideously lost like I normally am. I wonder if we're too far west. I really should just cheat and look at the map while I'm doing these videos. So I'm having to concentrate on Gabby Gabby Gabin. Could at least look at the map. But, um,. Our tactic of trying to pull all these zombies to the uh, to the east doesn't look like it uh, really did all that well. I mean, at least the zombies are a lot more bunched up now. I think that's the yeah. I think that's the road. Oh my gosh! Look at all of them. This might have been a bad idea to come north. Okay, that's that's where the outpost is. Just right on that uh, intersection there. Let's see if we pull these guys. Yep, we did. It looks like our uh, outpost is still barricaded.
Down to go. I think I saw a zombie on the east side of... Yep, there's one right there. He's uh, doing his darndest to uh, knock down that barricade. going to stop stealthing. Hopes he turns around. Perfect. Alright. Let's just a quick look at all the corpses. Just gonna swing around the houses and see um, which house we should uh, sleep in. Can't really see the condition of the barricades. But it looks like uh, a couple got knocked off there. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some zombies over to the west. But yeah, it looks like we've reclaimed the center. And I'm, I'm really interested to see if um, this gives us an opportunity to go north. Alright, let's um, get something, get a little midnight snack. And this will also... Um, inform us if there's any uh, zombies downstairs. Oh my gosh. Can't see anything. Alright, let's see. Is there anything we can eat quickly? Uh, we got the ham. Got some processed cheese. 64 slices of American cheese. The watermelon is still good. So yeah, let's just eat that whole thing. Well, it's only going to take an hour. Okay. Might as well eat it while it's still fresh. Saunter upstairs and uh, go to sleep. With uh, Spiffo keeping us all nice and cozy. Uh, yeah, let's sleep for 11 hours. That sounds like a good idea. Then we can see how all the uh, zombies are redistributed throughout the world. Not hearing any banging, which is a good sign. But there were some pretty sizable chunks in the uh, in the neighborhood near the uh, doctor's office, so we might have successfully moved things further south. Eat the watermelon, all of it. And I know you can slice them up, but uh, they're going bad anyways. Man, it would be so nice if you could you could grow watermelon. That would be really fun. That would be really cool. All right, let's take a lay of the land. Um, we're not going to have to worry too much about helicopters anymore, which is a huge, huge bonus. Let's uh, go along this road here on the left, on the, the west side. Oh wow, it looks like they uh, they did get in to the the other building here. Not only did they knock down the barricade, but they got through the door as well. Just wanted to check to see if. Uh, yeah, so that building is not so safe anymore. Just like one zombie there. Two zombies. Three zombies. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta check the condition of this axe. Hopefully we'll get the um, accuracy bonus sometime soon. The more damage you do, the less you have to swing. All that jazz. Just see where our, uh, our fitness is is almost at level two now. Strength is uh, half almost halfway through uh, level three. All right, there's a sizable chunk. Let's check see what our axe is like. Yeah. 
doesn't seem too bad. Uh, I think I'm going to use a hammer for this group and do the whole, you know, good old pull a couple, kill a couple kind of thing. While at the same time gain some nimble and some stealth and all that good stuff. It's a little grindy, but um, it's definitely, definitely needed. Definitely needed. It certainly came in handy last night. Where it's just, come on, come on guys, turn around. They're all going to turn around at once and they're all going to be fast shamblers. That's how it works. <laughs> and then I'll die. Are right, hitting it a little too close? Ah, it was too close, yep. Oh well. I think I can take four out. Looks like two fast shamblers. There we go. Got one fast shambler. Whoa! Didn't get me. I was close though. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a the whiff of the century. It looked like it went right, right through her head. Okay. Let's do a quick check, just in case I haven't checked these before. I think I just checked it because I remember seeing those uh, earrings. And I did hear some banging, so uh, there may be some in there. Yep. Let's call him out. Come on out. That axe. So beauteous. Right. <laughs> it looked like the one right in front of me had an axe too, but it was the earlier one. Alright. Condition. Oh, yes! A full condition axe. How glorious. So nice. Well, what this is telling me though is uh, looks like we are uh, a little A-OK -okay further north now. So that should... <laughs> oh, I always love being wrong. You learn more from your failures, failures than you do your successes. All that jazz. Okay, let's. Oh, that there's so many. They're very bunched up. They're definitely gonna get uh, the accuracy bonus from killing this horde. And some one shot kills in there. Some nice hits. Very nice. Got a brand new axe. Not a care in the world. Actually, lots of cares in the world. Looks like we still have some zombie migrating going on there. See that one guy in the purple shirt? He's just like kind of jetting through there like he had a... I gotta get to a business meeting! Urgh! Alright. Let's take some more out. Mr. Purple Shirt guy is uh, still down there. I'm just gonna call all these guys over here. Oh, only like a couple heard me. Really hoping that purple shirt guy comes out because uh, the fact that I don't see him is kind of scary. I'm gonna be constantly looking for Mr. Purple Shirt. Uh. Wow, one hit, one hit kill. A double one hit kill. That is so nice compared to what it was like when we first started the character. What was that? I thought I saw something. It's just beta blockers. Okay. Always good to get better beta blockers. Okay, so purple shirt guy, uh, he, he scares me. I don't know where he went. Didn't hear him. 
like bang on anything. It's like he was on a mission. Okay, I do hear banging now. But it's not the purple shirt guy. Where is he? She's not dead yet. Alright, let's loot this house. Just keeping a close eye out for the purple shirt guy. I just have never seen a zombie move with such conviction. It's like I had, I'm like playing multiplayer and someone snuck in. Expert fishing, yay. We got it. We got the advanced carpentry. That is what we needed. So now we can do a little bit more grindage. I like collecting hammers apparently. All right, yeah, that was that was our goal for um for this whole loot session. But um that was all we needed to really um I just have this feeling like purple shirt guy came in here. Where is he at? That's not the purple shirt guy. He had a purple sweater on, black pants, and he was just booking it. He had somewhere to go. And it scares the crap out of me that I can't find him. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to probably cut this episode short. We made it back. We slept. And, uh, and we found what we were looking for. We found the advanced carpentry book. Which means we now have all of the carpentry books that we need to uh, level up carpentry. So I'm trying to decide on whether or not... Um, you guys want to see, you know, an episode or two of me just sawing logs, um, or I can just skip ahead and um, and just uh, do my thing and and come back to you guys once uh, all that grinding's done. I think I will go with the, you know, do all the grinding and then come back for another episode because um, really all I'm going to be doing is chopping down trees and and using the saw to make boards I'm not even gonna make anything with the boards yet just sawing <laughs> that's it so I've got two axes that are in really good condition uh, I've got the book that I need I got plenty of food so really um, for the time that it's gonna take me to get my carpentry up I I really don't need to loot right now at all. So once we're done, and then because of the lack of needing to loot, the only worry that we have is if uh, you know if a NPC noise goes off. And even then, like it's it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. I might have jinxed myself, but um, yeah, I've never been in a in such a bad position where that uh, just a regular arbitrary uh, NPC NPC noise comes off, and like I get completely overrun. I mean, sure, some of them are bad, but like I've never lost to it before. It's like we already have a hammer. Oh, let's get rid of that one. I like my hammer's pristine. All right, so um, I'm just going to continue on. I'm gonna read our beautiful advanced carpentry book probably burning out the rest of the day and that the first half of the next day and uh, you know Howard's just gonna take it easy for a couple days while he uh, beefs up on his carpentry you know gets those planks nice and sheen and beauteous um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the episode here so you guys don't have to watch me grind alright this is Johnny Onos playing Project Zomboid version 3428. Thanks for watching.